Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to this lesson where we have figure A and figure B shown on the coordinate grid. And we have to describe a transformation that transforms figure A onto figure B. So basically, how are we getting figure A to its location at figure B? So when we have to describe a transformation, that means we have to see if this is either a rotation, reflection, dilation, or translation. So let's go ahead and check out each one individually, starting with a rotation. So if we look at our two figures, we can see that this is not a rotation here. A rotation is a turn around a fixed point, but our figures A and B both have the same orientation. They haven't been rotated at all, so we can say that this is definitely not a rotation. Now let's check out reflection. We know that a reflection is a mirror image, but again, A and B does not represent a mirror image at all, so we know that this is not a reflection. Let's look at dilation now. We know that dilation is a stretch or a shrink where the figure changes size. And again, we see that figure A and figure B are identical in size, so this is not a dilation. Now our last transformation is a translation, which we know is a slide from one location to another. Now this should make sense in this case, because if we look at figures A and B, we see that we're just taking A, sliding it to a new location, and it becomes B. So now we know that our transformation is a translation, and we can go ahead now with our description. And we should know that we describe translations in terms of how many units up or down, and how many units left or right. And we can figure this out by picking one point on figure A. First we'll count how many units to the right. So we see we're going over 10 units to the right, and then to find the corresponding point on B, I then have to go down a certain number of units, which we see is 7. So our description is going to be that figure A is translated 10 units to the right and 7 units down. And so that would complete our description. Remember that you can't just say it's a translation. You have to add all the information like we just did. And that's all there is to it for that one. So thanks again for stopping by, everyone, and I'll catch you all next time. Ooh. And that's it for that one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please click the link below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We got a ton of animated math lessons. And I know that you can learn more than one topic in your math class and you're gonna need help again. So don't forget to subscribe. We can use the support. Do it. Do it. Good job.